Go, 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 go! Oh, stop. Stay there! Oh, stop. Stay there! I won't shoot! Stay there! Get on the floor, man! Get on the floor! Get on the floor! I really appreciate you joining me today, and this story comes from Greys in Essex, and it involves two men that have been jailed for opening fire in broad daylight outside the shopping centre, and also a police chase and drug possession. The two men are from London and the police from the Serious Organised Crime Directorate gathered enough evidence in order to convict Rio Divine Brown and Farris Bentick of the incident that occurred on Tuesday the 13th of September 2022. The pair were jailed at Basildon Crown Court on Monday the 21st of August. On the 13th of September last year, three men drove to the Lakeside Shopping Centre and two of them went inside the store and moments later a Nissan Duke arrived and the car was contained, Rio Divine and Faris Bentic. Both of them got out and the three men that had originally came to the shopping mall returned to their car and crossed paths with Divine and Bentic. Moments later, Rio Divine pulled out a firearm and it was covered in green fabric and he pointed it towards the victims before firing. Witnesses reported hearing the gunshots and seeing smoke coming from the firearm. Thankfully both of the males aged in their 20s were not injured and they got back to their car and drove away. A complex and detailed investigation was launched by the police and the serious organised crime unit and as a result they was able to identify the two suspects very soon. Rio Divine was arrested three days later, but Faris Bentic was arrested on the 9th of October after he was involved in a police chase in Waltham Abbey. He decamped from an Audi A1 while he was carrying a firearm and also a knife. Also arrested at the scene was Chantal Fowler, who was in the car at the time and believed to be the partner of Faris. They later raided their address in Ilford on the 10th of October 2022 and police found the car that was used in the shooting at this address and also false registration plates and the keys to the vehicle were earlier found in Bentick's possession when he was in the police station. Police found cocaine, MDMA and 4 kilos of cannabis inside the property, alongside £15,000 in the wardrobe, mobile phones and imitation firearms. Speed 7-0, wrong way uh, through centre bollards. Your vehicle continues, uh, A104, Epping New Roads. Uh, approximately 50 metres, wrong way round the roundabout, wrong way round the roundabout. Just entering the village now, it's on the offside up to a T-junction, currently bolted on the pavement, on the pavement. Let's turn right right into Ho Lane, uh, currently at Lambourne Road, Chigwell Road, stand by. We've had contact uh, with a member of the public, it's gone left left Lambourne Road uh, towards Grange Hill. Yeah, it's turned into Brockett Way. Brockett Way. Uh, be prepared for a red decamp. Vehicles parking up. Yeah, it's a decamp. Male's gonna, looks like the male, um, yeah, he's got a bag in his hand. He's walking on the street. He's got uh, grey clothing, grey tracksuit with a night tick on the front. Make it off. Go, 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 go! Stay there! Stay there! I won't shoot! Stay there! Get on the floor, man! Get on the floor! Get on the floor! Get on the floor, get on the floor Yeah, officers got him on the ground currently. Rio Divine, 24 years old, admitted possession of an imitation firearm and two counts of drug dealing and he was jailed for three years. However, Faris Bentick, 24 years old, denied having any possession of an imitation firearm or the possession of the prohibited firearm and alongside ammunition and various drug dealing offences. He did, however, admit to having a knife. Chantal Fowler from Waltham Faris, London, denied dangerous driving and using criminal property. Following a three-week trial, the jury found Faris Bentick guilty and Chantal guilty of all charges. Alongside Bentick and Divine, Yildaz was jailed for 60 months. Chantal was jailed for 24, but this was suspended for two years. 
The detective in charge of the case said that Rio and Forrest acted in a very dangerous way and he put members of the public at risk. They opened fire in a public place outside a shopping centre and anybody could have been seriously injured or killed. So I really want to hear what people have to say on this story and please don't forget to follow and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Don't forget to follow on social media on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook and send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com. Peace.